Welcome back to Little Alchemist After Dark with Mr. Andersam recording his video for the second time because the first time he didn't realize that without the audio settings configured correctly, you just will not record any audio whatsoever. So here we are. When I should be editing, I am instead recording. Go me. Anyway, it gives me the opportunity to create a much more calm, collected, and uh, thought out video than the first time around, which I don't even remember what I said, and I can't go back and listen to, because there's no audio, but I'm not bitter about that. All right, this face cam is worthless, and I'm just turning it off now. Sorry, I am even subjected that to you guys at all, so enjoy just some generic um, Little Alchemist remastered heroics run going on while I talk about the update news. In this video, I would like to discuss how to get a migration code, what the most recent patch for Little Alchemist Remaster contains, and how to get early access for future betas and other perks from the Monumental team. Where are all of the migration codes? Trust me, I know. I know. You guys want migration codes. I see it in the comments of the videos. I see it on the Discord. Everyone's jumpy to get on uh, the remaster, and I don't blame you. Um, the remaster is great, but it did have some huge issues that needed to be corrected before they brought more people over. If you're wondering where your code is, it hasn't been sent. Um, no one's asked. The only people who have migration codes are the people who are involved in the beta test. That's that's it. But there are no codes yet. So just be patient. If you want a code, continue to play in the Little Alchemist original game that hasn't been updated in years. Monumental has some, some level of administrative ability over that game. And they will be providing you the codes in that app. And from the moment you get your code is when your like migration snapshot will occur. So it's not going to go all the way back to when the release was published to the Google Play Store and the App Store. It's going to create a snapshot for your account when you get your migration code. So you're not going to lose anything. Keep playing where you have access to your old old file. Keep making progress. Keep, you know, collecting heroic skulls and grinding out arena wins. Just keep going. You're going to keep it all. Don't worry about it. It's going to be great. And when the team is ready to publish um, the codes for migration, that's when they're going to start showing up. So if you feel like everyone's migrated but you because you're on the Discord and you see people talking in the migration channels, those are just the beta testers. So we'll do a quick note right now to all of the beta testers. So we just had 1.2.4 drop yesterday, last night, uh, by the time this gets uploaded and published to YouTube two days ago. In it is the bug fixes for everything that was game breaking. What what has been going on? Um, as far as I can tell, goblins were screwed up. And so I've been seeing a lot of bronze. Um, I don't know what everyone else has been seeing, but I've seen mostly bronze. Um, and I don't think anyone's seen a goblin king on the migrated remaster. I saw the goblin king in the beta test, but I haven't seen it since migration. And then there's a note that's saying goblin progress was not migrated correctly in certain conditions. So I have a feeling the monumental staff figured that out and have pushed a fix. So hopefully we'll see some Goblin Kings. Everyone will start earning gems that way again. The other fixes were obviously to the heroics. Those have been shut off for everyone that's migrated knows this. Heroics are turned back on. I've played uh, one round of tickets Still seems to be a couple of bugs. Not really sure if they're just display bugs. Haven't really pushed the game to its limit yet to see what it can and can't do. Heroics takes up a ton of time, so just haven't had quite the amount of time to truly dedicate uh, to see if it's a visual bug, if it's a bug bug. 
if it's just something weird that's popping up because some of the timers are slightly shifted around. So keep tracking that. Keep letting the monumental staff know if you guys find anything in there that's weird with the heroics now that it's turned back on. Other than that, we're looking to close out the arena season soon. So I think that's going to be the last major factor for the migration. So all the beta testers that are in the uh, remaster, uh, the arena is empty. It's harsh. It's harsh with it having that little player base. I think top 10, which is honestly where I've been sitting, puts me in like Masters 2 or Masters 3. Masters 3, I think. I should know. Um, that's not legendary. Like <laughs> That's how that's how cruel this is, right? I, I can't even push into the like upper tier of the arena just because there's not enough players and, you know, I can't quite keep up with uh, some of you crazy folks out there if you're still stuck in the la original the little alchemist original and you're like i really wish i would have been part of the beta test so i could migrate it looks so much cooler it is so much cooler i'm not gonna lie it's been great being migrated sorry to you know just yeah no nope, not sorry just if you're in that boat and you're going, I wish I would have helped beta test so that I can migrate. There is an option down in the description of this video. There's a link. I'll, I'll have it segmented off. And it's a sign up form created by the monumental team for all of their future beta tests. So that's beyond just little alchemist, but it, uh, it is primarily focused on their card games, I think. Um, I signed up for it. Haven't heard anything since then, so it's not going to like spam your email box or anything crazy like that. But I think that's how they're going to handle future beta tests. So if they're going to roll out something on the Little Alchemist platform that they want beta testers or input for, or I don't know if they're eventually going to roll out Little Alchemist 2. I haven't heard anything about that in a really long time, but I imagine if they do, they'll roll out a beta test. Um, but anything, uh, maybe even just features to Little Alchemist that they want to look in, into incorporating. They might roll out a, a beta snapshot for some people to try. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm certainly going to be part of the beta test. And if you guys want to be part of the beta test too, there's a link. Feel free to join. No need to join Discord. You can just give them a little bit of information about yourself and what devices you use. And I think there were some questions about like what level of play you're interested in, but nothing, nothing personal, nothing, nothing too, no, no crazy intimate details there. Just a couple basic questions and an email and they'll let you know if they want you know if they're going to do future betas and you can help out and it seems like they're here to help those people who are willing to help them so no crazy perk for being in the beta if you missed out you don't feel i have to feel like you're really missing out on a ton of stuff but just you know little things like you get to migrate early little little stuff like that if you want to do it go down to the description i know you know where it's at because the last time I made a video, I said the link is in the description and you can click off the video right now. And then I would screw up my analytics. And then my analytics were all screwed up. So I know you know where that link is. I know you know where the description is. I watched you all click off of it last time. Don't tell me you didn't. Google tells me everything. I'll know who clicked the link. That's not true. I won't have any idea who didn't or didn't click the link. It's not affiliated. I'm not like being paid to promote this. I'm just tired and frustrated that I'm recording a video twice. Now for some channel news, I'm still trying to do quite a bit of research into the Little Alchemist remastered game app. I can tell you how much 
the, the remaster looks and feels like the original, the like actual app itself is completely different. So that's what I have been working on on the back end, just for anyone who's wondering. I'm trying to do a lot of the same things I did with the original game, where I will take the game data and use it to build things like the deck optimizer and the wiki Excel spreadsheet that you saw Tap use while I was gone. Um, I, I know Tap put a lot of work into that. Um, I had some work put into that as well. We're going to try and resurrect it. Um, just, but they completely rebuilt the game from the ground up. I got to relearn where all the asset files are and start digging through it again. The old game, what's well, a lot easier to access, access the asset files for than this one is. So trying to figure out the best way to see what's going on. Oh, all right. Well, now I'm going to go chop this thing up and see if we can actually create a uh, an update video because it's been too long. Sorry. Happy holidays, guys. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.